Alright all, I'd like to tell a suggest. In today's video we're going to be taking a look at the performance of the Gigabyte Radeon RX 5600 XT Windforce OC 6 Gigabit Graphics Cord. I'm going to flip you over here and we're going to run down through the specs of the system. If you haven't seen it, this is also the results that I got with my $900 All AMD gaming computer here in 2020. I'll put a link to the video up here if you'd like to watch me build this computer. Let me flip you over here and we'll take a look at the ports that's in this system. Alright guys, and to start out we got the Ryzen 5 3600. We have G-Skills Rip Jaws 5, 16 gigabits of memory. And I did turn on the DOCP and it, so it is running 3600 megahertz. The ASUS Prime B550A Wi-Fi motherboard. We got Silicon Power Ace A55, 2.5 inch, 512 gig SSD. And we do have the Gigabyte Radio and RX 5600 XT Windforce OC, 6 gigabit cord. All of it is housed in the Fractal Design Mastified C Mini Micro ATX case. And to power the whole system, we have the EVGA 500B or 100 bronze certified non modular power supply. I got five, five different games that I tested, or five different benchmarks that I ran. I did play Apex Legends and Fortnite, and everything that you're going to see in these benchmarks was run on max settings besides Fortnite. Fortnite, I did do the competitive settings, which is ultimate or the highest settings on the view distance. Everything else was on low. Everything else was set on the highest settings that I could get. I got Apex Legends that I played. I have the Fortnite, which I played at competitive settings. Borderlands 3 and the Division 2, I actually ran the ben built-in benchmarks for them two for you. And the Heaven Benchmark, I also ran it. Built-in benchmarks and the Heaven Benchmark, they're pretty pretty comparable to what you would actually get during gameplay. When I did my testing, I ran everything at 1080p, because I think that's what this Discord's really focused as, 1080p playing. But I tried picking some games, you know, like Borderlands 3 is a AAA title, which is very unoptimized. You know, Division 2, it's pretty demanding, de pretty demanding game as well. Fortnite, a lot of people still like to play Fortnite. Apex Legends, a lot of people still like to play Apex Legends. That's why I chose the titles that I've chosen. If you have any other games you'd like to see me benchmark, put them down in the comments below. And uh, I'll see about picking them games up for some benchmarking. Let me show you some clips of the gameplay and what kind of numbers I got out of this system. And then I'll be back with my conclusion to the video.
and that's the numbers I ended up getting now on my system. These are all stock. The CPU ain't overclocked. The GPU wasn't overclocked. These are just the stock out-of-box settings, which, from what I can tell with these 5600 XT cards, there is quite a bit of room for overclocking available on these cards. So I think I'm going to tinker around with some of the overclocking on the 3600 and on this graphics card to see if we can get a little bit better performance out of our components. But I ain't going to cover that in today's video. But them are out-of-the-box stock settings. And like I said, guys, I believe this game is focused at 1080p gaming. The games that I played today is what I have in my library. You know, I don't have a very big game library. I know a lot of them are older games. But I tried to pick games that's relevant and games that strip away titles. It's unoptimized, like Borderlands 3. You know, Division 2, it's usually a pretty demanding game as well. You know, a lot of people still like to play Fortnite, so I played that, and I played that at competitive settings instead of all high settings. Because that's the way a lot of people play it. The Heaven Benchmark, everybody knows what Heaven is. You know, everybody just kind of compares that from one video cord to the other. So it kind of gives you an idea of what you can expect out of it by comparing it to other videos or if you run Heaven on your own machine. You know, if this would be an upgrade for you or not, or if it would be a side grade for you or whatnot, if you're actually looking at buying one of these cords. If you like this kind of video, you like this kind of content, make sure you go down and give me a thumbs up. Give me a thumbs down if you don't. There's a comment section below. I go through them every weekend on my live show here, Saturday morning, 11 o'clock Eastern Standard Time here in the U.S. And if you really like this kind of content, you like to see them overclocking videos that's going to be coming up on this system, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn that notification bell. That way you're notified when them videos go live here on the channel. And if, you, and if you'd like to, I'm also on Instagram and Twitter. Links is in the description below for them too. I won't kill your inbox. I don't put up a whole lot. But I do put up when I got new products coming in to kind of give you an idea of what you can expect on the channel. Or that's also where you learn about my live stream when I'm getting ready to go live. Or if I got to cancel for some reason, which happens sometimes but not very often. But with all that being said, you all have a good day, and I'll see you in the next video or live stream.